Because there ain't nobody going to tell me what to do. Ain't nobody going to tell me what to do. The chorus tagline of country duo Van Zant's 2005 song, Nobody Going to Tell Me What to Do, is the perfect American song. In one sentence, it exposes the attitude of most Americans. Ain't nobody going to tell me what to do. However, most of us spend our lives telling everyone else to do what we say and then condemning them for living by our anthem. You ain't going to tell me what to do, but I'm sure going to tell you. It's not really hypocrisy, just an inability to see the contradiction. It's the same contradiction most of us fail to see when we quote Psalm 23.1, The Lord is my shepherd, but refuse to actually submit to him. We've absorbed too much of the Van Zant song's attitude. Yes, Lord, you are my shepherd, but sorry, you ain't going to tell me what to do. Oh, we probably wouldn't be so bold as to say it out loud, but our actions speak louder than our words. That's one of our Sunday's struggles, isn't it? Being sheep requires submission, and we don't do that very well. Too often we see God's requirements as dictatorial, demanding, and limiting. For instance, the New Testament is filled with commands to be baptized in water for the remission of sins, but countless people say, no, I ain't going to do it. Or, don't gossip becomes just so much background noise as we talk, that is, gossip, about others. We struggle with phrases like, he makes me and he leads me, because they imply letting him tell me what to do. But if we won't let him tell us what to do, he can't restore our soul or guide us in the paths of righteousness. Psalm 23, verses 2 and 3. Even if we look past him restoring and guiding us, we may get angry because verse 3 ends with, for his name's sake. What? Is God saying everything he does for us isn't about us, but about himself? In a way, yes. But we may react with, oh no, God, you've gone too far there. If I must obey you and recognize my sheep status, then it better be all about me. First, that means we still don't get what it means to be sheep. Second, God's not on some kind of ego trip. That would be us. Rather, God's glory is revealed to and attracts other potential sheep through obedient sheep listening to him and serving him because of who he is. Telling people to come to God because he's the Santa Claus shepherd attracts selfish people, and those aren't sheep. If we don't learn to be sheep, which means we obey like sheep, then God's last command may be the only one we obey. Depart. I don't know you. Matthew 7, 23. Thank you for watching today's Sunday Struggles edition of Morning Minutes in the Bible on An American Missionary. Until next time, this is James McClenney hoping you have a great day.